As she left, I mentioned the importance of R&M and V2K and urged her to look it up on the internet with a closing statement and said, it is torture. I've decided to spread the word, plant the seed, in as many mental health professionals as possible. In retrospect, that was a bad move because it got me absolutely nowhere. Dr. Nahar, in her stupidity, has decided not to not let me go voluntarily into the hospital this entire day. I met with all the representatives from the court today telling them I was staying voluntarily. At 5.30 p.m., I met with Dr. Nahar and told her I wanted to sign in voluntarily. She said I could and we could sign the papers tomorrow morning, as long as the court received them before the hearing. All of this goes back to Patty being told by the Secret Service imposters, the government wants him to live in an institution. Gay hate crime. Which gives Patty what she wants, which would be me moved out of the neighborhood. So she's on board. One thing an officer said to me during a wellness check about two weeks ago was him telling on himself and telling of doom and gloom. Quote, there are many concerns, but we're just out to do a wellness check today. What the fuck have my capture group done now? They need to stop fucking with my life. This is just way out of hand. When my captor group learned I was not a drug dealer because of r and they should have stopped the abuse and projection. But they didn't because they had promised to other people a goal being met. The last few days, I've called my mom numerous times a day, sending out an SOS for the NSA or FBI and a trail for them to follow. I repeated to my mom what the officer told me at the wellness check, which can be verified by his own body cam. I said, I don't know what the police think I've done, but I just want to get back to a normal life. My mom said, one step at a time. I wish she understood how serious things really are. Enemy of the state slash whistleblower 
slash patriot. All three mean the same thing. Like so many other things in life, one thing has many different labels. And the labels tell an opinion of the fact. People can't seem to call things as they are, see reality for what it is. This is intentional when people call the same thing something different. It divides the people. Nobody understands the importance of my message because they call it something else. My telling of truth, seen as the ramblings of a madman, are discounted and ignored. At the end of the day, all would agree on one thing. I am an intellectual. And my intent is for the good of all. Sadly, because I am not common, but instead unique, I am targeted for my knowledge, for people to steal, to make money off of, and to minimize my influence in the world. I have been put into a category of the population. One percent. because of using drugs and being taken into the hospital repeatedly because of neighbors complaining. RNM and V2K are delusions. Ignorance is bliss unless it causes harm to another person. This is why, for example, people have car insurance. However, there is no insurance for people or for companies who make a mistake. In 2022, the truth will be revealed. In my court case, where a piece of paper with false and delusional beliefs in r and and V2K being delusions is proven to be wrong. 